It is the extreme version of Look Ma, No Hands, a dangerous trend where daredevils get their thrills by dangling from tall buildings, even skyscrapers, without a harness or a safety net. It's a viral craze, not for the faint of heart, and we're pleased to welcome for the first time on this broadcast our ABC News colleague, Kirit Radia, with this Sign of the Times. This is called roofing, a climbing craze going viral on YouTube, and the guys who do it just might be insane. The concept is simple. Find a building, a crane, anything that's tall, and climb it. But it's what these roofers do at the top that's really crazy. Hundreds of feet up, all without a safety harness. It started in Russia and it's spreading across Eastern Europe. Climbers compete for the most views online, each video getting more and more daring. It goes without saying, but do not try this at home. Not your rope. We wanted to find out just who would enjoy the vertigo-inducing effect of dangling off a tall building. Well, it turns out, these guys. Meet Vitaly and Ivan, just a couple of young educated office workers with no fear of heights. That's Vitaly with the camera on his head, walking on the outside of a crane atop the world's tallest bridge, about the height of the Empire State Building's observation deck. No ropes, no helmets. Uh, we met them, where else, on top of what will soon be Moscow's tallest skyscraper. At the top, they were like kids in a candy store, rushing to take pictures of their feet hanging over the ledge. Ivan says he does this for the thrill of it, but also for the view. Of course, it's a great dose of adrenaline, of rush. It's uh, the feeling of uh, absolutely freedom. Ask Vitaly if he ever gets scared, and he has a simple answer. Нет. I'm not stupid, he says. You have to be absolutely confident in your capabilities. Roofing has gotten more and more popular in Russia. Some of the most popular and daring videos belong to this guy, Artyom, an adrenaline junkie. He specializes in Stalin-era skyscrapers. By day, he's a computer specialist, but the 21-year-old has a knack for sneaking past guards, braving rickety ladders and scaling wobbly antennas going where no roofer has gone before. A lot of people think you're crazy. You think you're crazy? Uh, a little bit. What does your mother think about this? Uh, they say to me that I'm crazy. Uh, uh, she scream a lot. So how did they get up there? We decided to follow Marit and Sasha, a pair of students who never climb without their cameras. We hiked up a few flights of stairs, crawled through an opening, and stepped out into the sky. Okay, it's not the world's tallest building, but even here it's clear that Marat was born to climb. In my childhood, I wanted to be a Spider-Man. The 20-year-old is actually studying law instead, but he's turned his passion for climbing into art. This photo won him a prize in a national competition. It's also won him what many roofers seek, fame. I've been to almost all these buildings. This is a dangerous sport. Earlier this year, one of Marat's friends slipped and fell to his death. He was just 18 years old. Um, after, well, that's not enough to stop you. After that, I decided not to do something very risky. But the danger hasn't stopped hundreds of young Russians from climbing anything they can find. For the adrenaline, for the view, for that stunt that will get everyone talking. I'm Kirit Radia for Nightline in Moscow.